So this piece um, here at Amelin is entitled Resonance. There's so much challenge in everyone's life between the pandemic and just a daily um, stress and demand on people. I'm hoping to offer something in their daily life. Maybe they look up and see something wonderful and surprising and take a moment for themselves to be with the work. That's what I'm hoping for. It's very simple. Amway as a client was really cognizant that the building was going to develop and extend a relationship with the Arts District. And that was important and at the forefront of our minds throughout the design. I'm Wendy Dunham Tita, principal of Page, and one of the many collaborators leading the design of Amway Fountain Place. The interior spaces of Fountain Place's ground, plane, and amenity spaces are really an unfolding. They are also developing a relationship with the city and connecting to each other by a sculptural ceiling that becomes its own art installation piece. Those pieces are connected through a myriad of details, whether it's a handrail or a material or light and landscape. One of the most exciting things about creating the art program for Fountain Place was discovering artists that had an element of experience in their work. Chase Langford created his experience through color, Jessica Drank through texture, Paul Clarence Oglesby is informed by organic shapes found in nature but created a beautiful repetition, Gail Peter Borden who really explores reflection in an architectural way with his repetitive pieces. Ted Olson and Bree Milam, who use their own materials and methods and medium to explore landscape in a traditional and a contemporary way. I think now that without the Bailey Lou piece of residence in that lobby, there's all, there would almost be a ghost because it so connects with where it is it so amplifies the experience of circulating through that building that we now hear its music and see its color even when we're not there. I'm an installation artist, so reading a space is really important in my process. When I came to visit the site, I was really attracted to how this space of the ramp that's meant to allow accessibility. The space is in a way um, a shelter. There's a sense of protection and a sense of celebration. So as people approach the work, they can look up. And to me, that's one of my favorite views of the work. This particular space is special. It feels really protected. And it's almost like a place that you want to stay for a while and then the peace will serve the public really well that way.